Bowl's gym is open on Thanksgiving. Found that out because I saw some on Snapchat. So they're open till one. My family eats at one, so I decided, yeah, let's get a workout in. <clears throat> Had to earn that food. So we're doing legs. Gonna hit them hard. So far, I've had this morning is steak. Just get some protein and a little bit of fats in there to help make it slower digesting. I didn't have any carbs, just so that way my body is gonna feed off the fat. And also, just because I'm gonna have a bunch of carbs after, anyway. What we got first, I think I'm gonna stick to leg press, just cause I don't have a belt. And I have lower back issues with squatting, so I ain't gonna risk it. I'm just gonna <coughs> go lighter weight on leg press and do maybe yeah, 25, 30 reps maybe, we'll see. And uh, after that, we'll see what we can do for quads and hamstrings. Isolated exercises, just because my mom wants to be home at 12.30. Actually, at 12, and it's like a quarter, like a half hour till 11. And she says, I want you home at noon. For compound movements like leg press and squats, just with the amount of volume that I train with and the intensity. I don't do the cardio acceleration in between sets just because you die enough from it. And if you do the cardio in between sets, your, uh, your strength and energy for the rest of the workout will go down and it'll be a negative workout for you. For leg press, in five sets for 30, Notice I did a little wider stance with my toes pointed out, and that's just because I feel like it works more overall in my leg. If I go too far in, then I feel it only works for quads for whatever reason. Just felt like doing that today, so why not? We're not building muscle, so really it doesn't matter too much where your positioning is, just wherever you feel comfortable. But that's just where I can feel the most burn. Didn't do any cardio acceleration in between sets. I uh, tried to stick with the weight that I started with. I had to go down. I'll play each side after the first set because I already knew I was going to get it. I was feeling at about 15 reps. After cleaning up, getting all the weights away, went over to uh, what's called just a single leg. I guess you could say standing hamstring curl. It's a machine not most uh, not most gyms have, but uh, if you don't have it in your gym, then just do the lying hamstring curl or seated hamstring curl one leg. Preferably lying, because that's the most identical to it. But for that one we did uh, four sets of 20 each leg. No cardio acceleration, no rest, just right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg back and forth, back and forth for four sets. Try and hold it for a good squeeze at the top, try and feel it. You may want to use momentum, but try not to. Try and all in your hamstring. Try and squeeze your buttocks and your hamstring at the same time. It helps isolate the hamstring for whatever reason it works for me. We need a super set of leg extensions and lying hamstring curls. For both of them we did four sets of 20, again. Uh, but we did only enough rest for me to catch my breath back. So it's like 15, 30 seconds in between each set. Not enough time really to get an effective cardio acceleration in, I'd say. Just focusing on filling my legs with as much blood as possible. That's where you're gonna get the most fat loss from. hamstring curls kind of imagine your feet going towards the ceiling at the top so you're kind of squeezing your legs together to make your feet go closer to the ceiling and it really doesn't make that much sense when you first hear it but if you try it you'll actually feel it more in your hamstrings Get 
personally, I'm about to have some grub. Uh, I know I earned it with this leg workout, and also because I'm still trying to fight off sickness. Had a little bit of a headache during the workout, but not enough that I couldn't push through it. Again, guys, if you're gonna eat out with friends, you can do that. Just don't make it a buffet or a binge. If you're gonna have a treat, try and have it around the workout. Preferably, you wanna try and have it after the workout, maybe. Before or after, just see whatever works for you. For me, after the workout seems to work best. Other people, only before. That's it for that workout. I'm ready to eat.